I had a seven-year-old one time come in and she would ask strangers to take her home on the street. She was so, so abused and so neglected. And I watched her grow uh, for two years in my home and just become such a bright, bright light. And I would never have experienced that had I not been a foster parent. Aloha, I'm Tracy Lewis, and I've been a therapeutic foster parent with Catholic Charities for eight years now. Aloha, my name is Blossom Falfata. I've been a therapeutic foster parent for 19 years. I remember watching on the news where the foster care system actually was failing the youth in the program, and not all, but a few, and I thought um, I could do this. And um, I started making calls, and here I am today. My brother works for Catholic Charities on the Big Island and he called me up and he said, Tracy, you need to do this. My husband and I have always taken in children um, to live with us for high school years, mainly teenagers. And he said, even if you don't want to be a foster parent, the training is amazing, so just go and do it. So that's how I started. After the youth has been in our home for a certain time, we certainly see positive changes. Um, it may take a while, and um, that's one of the rewarding parts of doing this, is seeing changes, seeing the child grow, seeing the child accept that they are valuable, they are worth something, and as always, they have hope. There's always hope. Sometimes there's youth that come into our home that can't even greet a stranger, they can't even say hello, and and the first time somebody strange walks in the house and they say, hi, my name is, it's like, a, it's a victory. You watch them grow little bit by little bit and it's amazing, it's amazing. The qualities and make for an effective uh, therapeutic foster parent is um, being able to open up your home and your heart, um, being willing to not take things personally, um, being able to just um, pour love into someone that does not want to love or bond with you, and always stay positive. I think the qualities a foster parent needs to be effective is patience, a lot of patience. Things change happen slowly, but you also need a, a huge capacity to love and love without expecting anything in return because sometimes it'll take a while for that child to care about you, much less love you, but it will happen, it'll happen. Catholic Charities offers great uh, services to us as therapeutic foster parent. I have a parent consultant um, that goes above and beyond, I feel. She's there to su offer support as far as um, feedback, uh, training, just knowing that they have my back, just knowing that I can call them 24-7, just knowing that they are there for the youth um, is the greatest support. The advice I would give to people who are looking to become foster parents is have patience. Remember that you're going to not only open up your heart and your home, but your entire life, your family, your family's life, your school, your church, everything that you do, this child will become a part of. And there's nothing greater than to touch a child like that. Know that you will have to open up your home. You will have to bring in children that do not want to be there. You will have to bring in children that are angry, they feel unloved, they're discouraged, and you are willing to go through the ups and downs with them. The youth I have now, when she came in, very angry, struggling, and um, she's doing great in school. She's in band. She's very active in our church. She's dancing hula. To go from A to Z, all the emotions and all the ups and downs, and at the end, um, you see a child that has changed and a child that has self-value. That's the most rewarding part. This will change your life. There's nothing that you'll experience that will come close. You will laugh with these children. You will cry with them. You will cheer them on. And when they are victorious, so are you.